Welcome back to the Romanian River channel and my playthrough of Dragon Age Origins. Now, we did the whole fighting the guard scene off screen, mostly because it actually got really freaking annoying. But how we beat them was quite fairly straightforward. Set to uh, hold position, uh, my character and the mage is held back, this guy went forward, activated the nice quake, and yeah, that did quite a bit of damage. There was still enough of them to actually pose a significant issue, so we had to do quite a bit of um, creative thinking. The point To the point where we actually had to use earthquake on our own people. But hey, it worked out and nobody actually fell down, so yee. But now let's continue on looking for that mythical individual. City, city. It does not matter. Or is that not the city too? I think that's the city as well, right? Yeah. Now that we butchered a sizable contingent of guards, hopefully we don't have to fight any more of them. Right. Huh. We missed that the first time around. Welcome back. What can I get for you, honey? <laughs> Come again. Surprise me. I don't like that idea. The culture filled and apparently it has quite a bit of sex in it. Mind your manners here. Huh, it was jammed with the lock. Interesting. Okay, so nothing around here. Where the hell is that guy? Don't tell me I have to actually unlock the alienage to get him. Well, let's just be sure. Yeah, most likely is in the alienage. Oh, fuck me. More guards? There's the warden, the thief. Be careful. One patrol's been wiped out already. Attack! Enemies up! Yep. They oh, can defend me! <laughs> Drink. Do a mass heal. Actually, no, do an earthquake right on. Yep, one of them fell over. And predictably it was me. Predictably. Hmm. 
you popularium you where is it Wait, what? That's the wrong region. How much? You might actually have to. Yeah, this is gonna be nasty. Surprised by this amount of love for her. There's a lot of them. A fucking lot. Okay, we managed to keep her alive for the most part. That guy's gonna be down pretty soon. Let's go take care of the assholes here. Managed to actually win. What oh, do you think you can win? These patrols, they keep falling down. But injuries, lesser, not, le not great, lesser pardon. Okay. Let's get started. This should be easy enough. Let's see. Anything more? Yes. As you wish. Let's get started. And these guys cost me way too much money to kill. But that reminds me, you have some potions to make. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that should definitely help. So what's... Huh. Okay. On it. So that's... Probably two thirds of the guard corps, at least in this area, eliminated. Now, back to Orzammar. <clears throat> Hopefully, without any incidents. shall head to the deep. Well, actually, there is that chip. First and foremost. Hello, how can I... Oh, it's you! And it's been, well, quite a while. Enough time to get to the circle and back, I hope. Oh, please tell me what they said. Ancestors, bless you! I can't believe it! There hasn't even been a dwarven observer in the circle since you're Reldon in the 13th Century. Uh, I, I, I need to pack. No, my parents would get suspicious. I need to go. Is there anything I should bring? Books, tuition? Of course. I was just bringing some lyrium in from the storeroom. Will that do? I have either a lyrium rune that can be implanted in any weapon, or some of the serum mages use. Which do you want? Here you go. I hope it's enough to thank you. I'll never forget what you did. If you ever go to the circle again, maybe I'll see you then. Hmm. Let's see now. This chick, well, I should know it's Garen. Greetings, and welcome to Garen Garenson's luxury goods shop. Wow, there are a lot of you. And I've never seen one of those before. The things they come up with. What was I saying? Right. I have some lovely things here. Lilyrium. Enhanced, of course. I think he's been hitting the lyrium, to be honest. We'll look at those later. Does that lead out to the deep roads? I hear they're crawling with dark spawn. Yeah, and they're quite nibbly. But actually, <coughs> pardon. We should head to Duster Town first. Or Dust Town, however it was called. Dust Town. I knew I should have stuck to common nugs. I've gone and lost them too. I'll never find them the way they scare me. No way I'm going back to that supplier in Dust Town. I guess I'm shutting it down. Good on you, stranger. Only need one to turn this around. And if I'm not mistaken, there's one. We'll have to keep an eye out for the nugs, not only one. There it is. You kind of look cute. The swamp witch desires something from it. From what? Ah, you mean from him? <laughs> and if I do, what of it? 
It is aware of the Swamp Witch's true nature. Let me guess. You know my true nature? I have spent a great deal of time observing the world. I know what I see when I see it. You spent 30 years watching whatever a small village was willing to parade in front of your eyes. Do not cast yourself as the worldly sage. At best, you are a barely working statue with a poor memory and a poor attitude. Do not seek to begin judging me. Hmm. Perhaps it has a point. Yes, I should think so. And yes, those nugs are everywhere, I think. Possibly there are a couple even in the... There's one. It's getting nuggy in here. I don't think I've ever found all of them, to be honest, but yeah. Why do the poor not rise up against their betters? This I never understood. Mostly because they're betters. Thank you. Activate precision strike. Keep trying, Grant. Decent. Who are you? You don't look like any guardsman I ever saw, and that's not much of a uniform. Oh, you looking for a chance to bring in some coin? Could be I have that opportunity. Especially for someone with a few connections above ground. Human kings, you know, they make these ridiculous laws. Like about who gets to buy in Silurian, the sacred gift the stone provides us to show her love. No law should regulate that. The laws are meant to keep mages away from the stuff, so there's always buyers in the Circle Tower. I got one man named Godwin. He's expecting a delivery of the stone's way. You want an investment opportunity? Uh, I could see fit to, say, sell you that lyrium instead at the reasonable price of 50 sovereigns. You could keep it all, since you can travel freely from here. Sell it to Godwin, who you know is buying. And uh, if you bring back this return order, I could pay you say, 20 sovereigns is a finder's fee. Most dwarves born down here have a natural immunity. Other races, there are problems if they spend too long with the ore. The real issue is the Lyrians. Valuable. It's only found down here, and human mages can I don't think so. Boys! Okay, idiot, idiot, idiot. Now we get our hands. Uh, 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 here we go! Uh, 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 and done. Uh, yeah, 20 sovereigns. Would you look at that? Let's 
get started. And without the hassle of breaking the law. I could swear I hear a nug somewhere. Well, well, well. The brand warden comes home. What do you think you'll find down here? Open arms? Is that so? What makes you think anyone here would turn me, I mean, this person in? You've walked into a sodding fight, warden. I've already passed your stupid tome along. Too bad for you. You wish. Spare a bit for the needy? Please. It's not for me, it's for my child. Have you a coin to spare, my lord? For my son. He's sick. He hasn't any clean clothes to wear or anything to eat today. Neither have I. I am nothing. My family has disowned me. I'm no longer welcome in any mining caster hall. Unless... But no. I can't bear to even think of it. My son's father is cast as is he. I used to be a miner, but my parents stripped my caste and refused to accept me back. Unless I agree to abandon the child in the deep roads and pretend I never bore him. Y you would do that? But why? Then I cannot offer enough gratitude. But I warn you, my father is a stiff-necked man. His name is Ordell, and he's usually at Tapster's in the evening. I do not think he will listen to you. But I will wait anxiously to see if you can do what you promise. Well, look at that. Not often old Nadezda sees a fine dressed stranger here in Dust Town. Help the poor cripple. Well, I'll be a drunken nug. You're Rika's little brother. You used to work for Barat before you jaunted off to be a Grey Warden. What in the dust are you doing here? Jarvie has been real shrewd. Some of the men thought Barat made a bad choice in her. They're all feeding the lava. She killed a few of Barat's relatives topside, got them in line, and the goods have been fast and steady since. Oh, sure. You'll see him around. Not like when you two were cracking skulls together, though. You had the whole neighborhood terrified. Aye, I did some soldiering for Barat. Until some new commissioned guardsmen decided to teach some brands a lesson. Broke both my knees, then made me kneel in dumb for an hour until I passed out from the pain. Never mended right. Barat tossed me on the street since I had no more use. Pretty much how my man told me I'd end up. Ah, and look what happened to you. Shows with mothers in there. You, uh, look like you've done well. You sure you can't spare a little more? There, but for the grace of the ancestors, you know. I'll think of you when I go to bed with a full stomach. Just be careful with that damn money. <clears throat> Your clothes are so fancy. Did you get them topside? My ma'am used to say they don't got no stone to protect them topside. If I go up there, I'm gonna fall into the sky. Yes. <laughs> My dot left, he never came back. Who's to say he didn't fall up, eh? Don't fall into the sky when you go back up there. Okay, so I have to go up anyway.
Gotta love these knickknacks. So, proving ground. First and foremost. Why does the Swamp Witch still travel with the Grey Wardens? You are of the opinion that I should not be? I am curious. It seems as if it has little reason to stay. The same could be said of you. There is no control rod commanding your presence, Gollum. I have no history and thus no purpose. The same cannot be said for the Swamp Witch. Its purpose is simply unknown. Keep asking questions and I shall turn into a bird. I can do that. I have no fear of birds. Oh, I didn't say you were afraid. I would simply hover out of reach. Hovering. Waiting until... Enough! I shall be silent. Excellent choice. And that's why I chose her. Naidukin. He's won the squad combat four years running. He has 11 decapitations so far. He needs just three more for the one season record. I'm telling you, Piotin will take the prize. You can put gold on it. May just. Same over here. There we go. Please have it on you. Thank you. Now no nugs in here, right? Because you never know. <clears throat> Gotta love frogs though. Free will as you do. May I ask 
what you intend to do with it. Other than exterminating the vermin of the sky? Uh, yes. Other than that? I do not know. Crushing heads is fun, for now. Well, that's something. <laughs> but anyway, it is 30 minutes, so we're gonna leave it off here now, gents. Thank you for watching, and until next time, BAFTA!